very welcome to this video and today we're going to show you how to add a rubric and create a rubric in assignments in Microsoft Teams. So I'm already in the assignments tab and create an assignment and if you're not sure to do this check out the video that should be in the top right corner there now which will be linked there for how to create an assignment in Microsoft Teams. So I've already filled in some waffle there for the rest of it and I'm going to add rubric here now and I have the choice of selecting a rubric that I've already created or I can upload a rubric that I have from a, an Excel or a .csv file or I can create a brand new rubric and that's what I want to do here now with you. So, enter my title, I can put it in the description if I want, okay, I'm just going to say blah for that. Now, you have a choice as to whether you're going to include marks in this or not, so if I click yes, it automatically populates with marks and if I click no, then it won't, if you just want to have a descriptor only one. Now, in this case, it gives you automatically uh, five categories, so 100% excellent, good, fair, fair, poor. I can change the name of these to being very good, say, for example. Okay. I could also add in an extra category there, as many categories as I want. So I can, uh, so I'm just going to say um, very poor for the argument. Okay. If I add in a few categories, I can click here to re evenly redistribute the weights and it'll go across the uh, board there. I can change these numbers, so I can change that to being, say, for example, 8, 6, 4, 2. Okay, or let's uh, make a mistake and put that as 3, for example. If I evenly redistribute the weights, okay, that if it was very off, it would have fixed it to being maybe 2. So, now that I've got all that done, okay, I can add in another set of ca uh, criteria down here if I wanted to, or if I wanted to copy this down, okay, I could. If I want to enter in criteria for this, so great quality work, for example, I can. And then when I'm finished, I click the attach button there, and that'll load in, and you'll see there, is that the rubric there of sample is there and there's a max of 100 points available for it. If I want to go in and see more on this, I can see what I have there. If I want to edit it, I can go in there. So if I want to change that to being, say, for example, 10, just for the argument, I can update that. Um, so I'd have to, I won't be, it won't let me because it wants me to adjust the weights to being 100%. So just leave that at 100 now. Okay. And then when I'm ready, I click Assign. If I have all the other fields all done, I can just assign my work. And there we go. And that's how you create a rubric in assignments in Microsoft Teams. Please subscribe to the channel if you have any questions. Please ask below in the comments. And if you enjoy this video, please give it a like. Thanks very much for watching. Bye now.